Hello everybody, we got some clunky problems coming up, so I'm just going to dive in. The statement reads, suppose you want to define a magnetic scalar potential, U, in the vicinity of a current carrying wire. First of all, you must stay away from the wire itself. There, del cross B or the curl of B equals zero. But that's not enough. Show by applying Ampere's law to a path that starts at A and circles the wire returning to B that the scalar potential cannot be single valued. That is, U of A cannot equal U of B even if they represent the same physical point. As an example, find the scalar potential for an infinite straight wire. All right, so let's draw it out. You see we have a, a wire here and an Amperian loop from A to B. All right. So let's apply the uh, Ampere's law, and we see that uh, the closed integral b dot dl is equal to mu naught i. So therefore, if we were to apply uh, what b is as a scalar, that would be negative del u. Um, this would allow us to apply the gradient theorem, and this gives us uh, u evaluated at the endpoint, so u of b minus u of a. Is equal to uh, is equal to mu naught i, which is not equal to zero. Therefore, u of b cannot equal u of a. All right. So for an infinite straight wire, the field we know is uh, mu naught i over two pi s in the phi hat direction. So we can kind of form match this to lead to a potential formulation of negative mu naught i phi over two pi. That would do the job in the sense that the negative gradient of this would lead to B. However, we have a problem when we're looking at the domain of this. If uh, when phi advances by 2 pi, the function does not return to its initial value. It works only for 0 equal to or less than phi, uh, which is less than 2 pi, because at 2 pi it jumps back to 0. Just the continuity doesn't work.